Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartsPlanet.tv and as you can see, I have got the legend Matt Mad Dog Doe in front of me, smiling away. How are you, mate? I'm doing very well, thank you. I can see by the rankings here. Uh, current world ranking number four, British world number one now. Yeah, that's all uh, signed, sealed, delivered. So it's a new season starting in a couple of weeks. So Up at Bridlington, I, I hear? Yes, looking forward to it. Absolutely incredible. Just talking about the rankings, um, let's just get straight into this. Tell us about how it all unfolded at the end of last year. So here it was a, a sort of went down to the, the mm. final event, semi final. Yeah, now, now by a, yeah. Um, it was pretty much a close run thing between two of us, me and Michael Callahan. Um, and it literally went down to the last um, tournament, which was the Welsh Open. Um, and literally the last day upon us, there was literally six points separating me and Mike. Um, I was ahead by six. Um, and it went went down quite fittingly. Uh, it went down to a semi-final match between the two of us. Um, Nerve-wracking for both of us, as well as other people watching. Um, but I come out on top four frames. Um, so it was quite fitting that it went down to an actual match rather than someone going out early. I bet it was good for the spectators, but I bet you two absolutely dreaded it when you see that happen, didn't you? Yeah, I, I think I kind of talked in on the morning. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be funny if <laughs> and lo and behold, it happened? Uh, yeah. Did you go on to win the final? Uh, if it was best of five, yes, I would have won 3-0, but because it was best of seven, I, I kind of... Run out of luck and lost four three you to John Hurst. You up in the final, was you? Mm, yeah, I played. I, I think all my energy had gone on the uh, semi final. I think, and I just sort of the, the adrenaline was still pumping. And then it you just... had probably been focusing on that semi final, knowing uh, not that you didn't want to win the tournament because, of course, you did. But being that British number one is such a, a, an achievement, isn't it? Uh, making sure that you got that, you probably like. You say, like you said, put all your energy in it and just zap yourself. How mm. often do we yeah. see it on the PDC? Players like beat out, you know, years ago, like uh, or beat MBG or Phil Taylor in the semi-finals. Mm. Go to the final; they've got nothing left, absolutely mm. nothing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for me to be the cream of the crop, so to say, the the, the, the talented players we've got in the PDBA is just it's just beyond words. Um, I'd had a very good year 2019 um which helps me progress to the top and then obviously covid struck and the rankings sort of just continued on kept getting good results uh winning a couple of tournaments this year uh which helped me up there and yeah it was a good old slog and it, it's quite nice because normally i'd be battling to stay in the top 10 but to be battling for number one this year was quite an honor um I can I'm, tell I'm, by the way you're yeah. speaking, Matt. I can tell you just when we're talking about it, trying not to smile, it's probably going <laughs> to... Yeah, and it, there's, there's probably a little bit of added incentive, obviously, with <laughs> mum going last November as well. Yeah. There's the extra push to, to do it for her, so... Um, she would have been so proud of you, Matt. Honestly, she really would have done. Obviously, I didn't get to meet your mum, but... No. Um, uh, to, and your brother must be very proud of you as well, mate, oh, what you've achieved. He, He's, after two years, I've actually managed to convince him to play himself. Fantastic. Um, and he, he loves it. He loves the weekends away. He, Lovely. He, he loves West Ham. Yeah, someone's got to. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, he, he goes to West Ham. But when he hasn't got West Ham, he'll, he'll quietly come to one of the weekends. He comes to Bridlington last year. Um, is he coming this year, going to support you? He's going and playing. He was obviously supporting in the Masters. But, yeah, he's going. He's looking forward to it. He's got some new stuff to show off as well but fantastic it's, it's... it all sounds amazing yeah uh, so disability dance you know since we last speak uh for people that haven't seen this you can check back on some of our older videos me and matt have uh matt's been on the channel a couple of times before uh disability darts is going um fantastic in the right direction mm. more supporters more sponsors uh yeah. hopefully more prize money uh how have you found it you know uh, the growth yeah. it's been great i mean obviously the latest person to come in is a chap called Paul Eggleton, who's quite known, well known around the, I want to say BDO circuit, it's not now, it's WDF. Um, he sponsored a few players like Gary Robson and Tony O'Shea and stuff like that. He's yeah. very kindly um, sponsored us 
the BDDA um, for this year. And I think, believe it, some of the continuing year. Um, hence why we now have got the BDDA Fast Away Masters. Okay. We'll see so, the logo shortly, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and it's just getting better, you know. I, I, I've been in the BDDA now for, well, this would be my sixth year. Um, when I first started, there was 16 to 20, maybe. Wow. Um, so mainly from the UK, you did get the odd person from abroad, like Viddy and Jackie from Belgium and yeah. Jesper from Denmark. And now you've got 30, 40 plus just from the UK, and that's not including anyone that's abroad. Um, it's, it's just growing so massively. Fantastic. It's wonderful to see. Is it um, a lot further forward than you thought it would be from when we spoke a couple of years ago? Um, no, I, I think it's probably there's more to come. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's slowly progressing. I mean, when you go out to these competitions abroad, for the World Paradise, it's 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 a whole different cat of fish. It, it's uh, I'll use the World Trophy as an example. Yep. It was in May. Um, the amount of money and efforts that's put spent into making these events for us, uh, you get a nice little program with a little picture in it, and you get some people come and ask ask for your autograph. And <laughs> so, oh, it's it's like like your little a little celebrity. Love your autograph, there. Matt. Uh, one day, one day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it's kind of slowly getting like that over here. Fantastic. So, uh, it's incredible. It's... Uh, obviously, we're going to have a look at the tournament calendar in a minute. Like I said, we know you've got Bridlington coming up uh, very soon. Yep. Um, uh, this weekend, actually, isn't it, did you say? Uh, ne next weekend. Ne next weekend. Um, yep. But obviously, with all the uh, tournaments abroad and that, how difficult is it? Because obviously, <laughs> the way the world, you know, the cost of living, and I know I don't mm. want to run on about it, but the way the world is now with uh, travel, hotels, food, entering tournaments. How difficult is it for your uh, disability players to be able to attend these tournaments it's, and make them, uh, f you know, a lot of competitors there each time? Yeah, it's, it's, it is, can be tough for certain people. I mean, I'm very fortunate that um, I've had some money saved for, you know, for tournaments, thanks to mum and my granddad, bless him. Um, but I also have Big Five that, we have like a little bit of a monetary deal going on. Uh, it's 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 not a lot, but it helps along the way. Every little um, helps. Yeah, exactly. And even stuff like with super darts, they they supply my darts, stems, flights if I need them. Um, so that's money I'm saving. Uh, Eagle darts have just come on board. They provide oh, the ones them that do the points. Yeah. Yeah. They do, they do my points so again. It's another expense that I don't have to pay out. Um, so yeah, as you said, every little helps. And there, there is, you know, a massive crop of players that. There you know. he is, Matt, and all his full glory there at the <laughs> bottom. Obviously, we help him with the social media side of things. We try and do anything we can to uh, to give you as much exposure as possible. Uh, so. I'm, I would be thinking there's a lot of, uh, you know, the disability players that haven't got that support. Mm, yeah, you know, I mean, they've started they've started putting themselves out a bit more now. You know, as I said, back in the back in the day, you could probably name three or four that are your top players. But now you're talking ten. The strength say, depth, very, very yeah, good. Yeah. Where, you know, what are your... Uh, well, we'll move on to that at the end, um, actually. Um, what we'll do is, uh, well, I think we'll have a look at some of uh, the tournaments that you've got coming up, Matt, and um, we can talk through them. Would you like to do that? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Let's have a look. So, there we go. We're on the... There's the Fast Away logo um, from the guy that you spoke about. So, we're on yeah. the BritishDisabilityDarts.co.uk. I will put the link in the bottom for anybody that want to have a look at it. And Matt will tell you about some of the stuff coming up here. Yeah, you will You will see a couple of similarities between the BDDA and the World Paradise because some of our events are World Paradise rankings as well as BDDA. Um, obviously, you've got there the fast away British BDDA Masters, which is being held after Bridlington. Um, Abergavenny is a new tournament that's just come in that was supposed to come in pre-lockdown, but obviously... COVID stopped us. Starts on my birthday, that one, Matt. Yeah. You have to take me uh, along. 
<laughs> I put you in my suitcase, guys. Yeah. No, that's Malta in a minute. We've got to go over that. <laughs> uh, Isla Man, we went back there last year. There was only nine of us last year, but it was great to be back. Um, Howard and the guys are very helpful. That's that's a world paradox one. The Windmill Classic is the longest running BDDA competition that used to be held in Birmingham, but its new home is now in St. Helens at the Academy where um, Eleanor Cairns and Luke Littler used to go. Or whether they still go there, I don't know. Uh, back to Wales again in May. That's the Prostatin, the Welsh show. Always it used to be my bogey tournament until last year. Uh, <laughs> Um, but they're always it's always great down there. And then my favourite tournament, the first ever BDDA Essex Classic and Open in my hometown, which I'm so looking forward to. And not only that, it's on my 40th birthday weekend, so it's going to be a very, very messy one probably. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm so excited to finally get it this incredible. Darts Something back, local. back home. Yeah. And obviously, this is now the World Paradox one, as you can see. Um, some of the tournaments we've obviously mentioned. The one there in Germany, uh, was the 9th and 11th of September, sadly, was cancelled. Um, obviously, there you go. That's Bridlington. And then a favourite tournament of mine, we've got the Bruges Belfry Darts. I went last year. It was amazing. Um, lovely hosted venue with the Belgian boys there. Uh, what have we got there? Budapest. So this is a new one that's coming this year. Sadly, I won't be going to that one because there's uh, finances and all that. Uh, yeah. But super excited to have Hungary on board. Uh, Malta is the big one. Uh, quite a few of us BDDA boys are going to go over for this one, like a little BDDA holiday. Um, <laughs> super, super excited to go over to Malta. Um, and then, then we got the big one, the first... World Paradox Masters being held in um, Holland, at the same place as the Dutch Open. De Bonte Weaver, super excited for that one. Um, and then obviously scroll further down, we've got the big old Dutch Open, which is on the 3rd to 5th of February, I believe. There it is. Yeah, there it is. I probably won't be going to that one because I probably would need a break by February. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's an exciting time to come... To, to be part of the BDDA and World Paradox. It sounds, you know, all those fixtures and, um, and and just the support and the people getting behind it to make this all happen mm -hmm. because there's so much work. Um, go, I don't think a lot of people realise how much work goes into, like we've done a couple of tournaments and, and different things, but the actual work that go into these big tournaments is yeah. incredible, isn't it? It's 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 not just the, the manpower, it's you, you need the sponsorship, you need uh, you need coverage, you need the players, you need um, all the setting up for the venues. It's huge yeah. amounts of work, isn't it, man? This is especially the disability ones. Um, I mean, obviously, Ricky Chilton used to do a lot of the setting up for the disability ones. He's um, he's still a, he's still about, but he's actually retired from darts. His last, I believe, he's playing the Masters. Right after after some convincing, um, but that would be his last time he actually bows the dart for a little while because he's just not enjoying it and it's not. He'd rather go out on top than struggle, which yeah. I don't blame him. Ricky's been the face of disability darts for since day one, really, um, along with Vinny and Phil. Um, and we're getting all these new boys coming that are, you know, showing their face about myself being one. Uh, we've got Michael Callahan over in St Helens. He's a he's a known person. He's a Kevin Stringer. I could go on, but you know, I'm not so going to. So the big question go. is, uh, if I'd have said to you two years ago, um, obviously you said there was sort of, te you know, uh, a few good players at the um, the field. Now you're saying there's some 10, 12, 15 really good players. What is your goal? Obviously, hopefully when I'm talking to you next time, you're going to say to me, Gav, I am now the world number one and the British number one. No, I'm, I'm joking. What is your yes. realistic goal, Matt? World you know ranking. what? I've done, there's there's a few things on the list I've got to tick off. It's to be obviously be world number one, to be the British master and to be the world master. So yeah. there's three goals. I mean, realistically, looking at the just the British alone, I mean, you, there's Michael Callahan that I previously mentioned, John Hurst, Pete Bramley, it's Steve North who's coming into it like anything. 
Uh, Paul Gelder, an old stalwart, he's been there since day one. He he hang, hangs around like a bad smell, but he's he's a very steady. Well, you're going player. into one of these tournaments as number one yeah. seed, uh, and because the rankings finish, if I'm right, uh, yes, after they, this tournament at Bridlington, is that right? No, they 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 finish now. They restart again at Bridlington. They restart again at Bridlington. Yep. So yep. you are going in though as the sort of like the the, the top gun. Yeah. So the target on the back has got bigger than the bullseye, and it's now the whole dartboard. <laughs> Just but a little. You know, you know, you know what? It's it's something that I'll probably thrive from, and to be the top, as I said earlier, to be the cream of the crop of this lot, I'm, I'm, I'm honoured. I just oh, like oh. seeing the smile, Matt. When you're talking about it, I can just see you're trying not to smile like a Cheshire cat. I think it's fantastic. Well, I, I think I do most of my smiling sort of after Wales, but I'm just, I'm, I'm just a very humble guy. And, you know, I'm a, for me, the dark side of it is, yeah, okay, I'm not too bad at it. And I'm, I'm very, very lucky compared to some people. Um, but now I'm just, I just want to be in the family, the BDDA family, the World Power Arts family, because that's what they are. The thing is, is, is the way the world is now, it's, uh, of course, it's about the darts and doing the best you can. But it's also about a community, enjoying mm. it. And, you know, there's a lot spoke about with mental health and that nowadays. And I, I think if you are involved in something like that, it's it's good all round, isn't it? We all do mm. different. Like, unfortunately, I'm not very good at uh, darts, as you know and have seen. Um, but for me, you know, I do I do other stuff. Mm. I I you know, um, and it, it's really important. And you look in a, a amazing because I know that you've had a without going, you have had a tough year, but right now you look in a really good place, and you've got so much to look forward to. Disability yep. dancers is on the way up. It's it's exciting yeah. times for everybody involved, isn't it, Matt? Yeah, it is. And it's, it's exciting as well as, as well as you know, challenging. You know, you've got all these newcomers coming in. I go back to the World Cup in 2019 when we won that. And there's probably one, maybe two teams, maybe three that were, oh, they'll win it. The, come to the World Trophy, there's all these new players appear and you're like, well, actually, they could win it, they could win it, they could win it. In the end, the right team won it in Belgium. <laughs> hey, they were phenomenal, but... Yeah. But it's just, it's just, it's it's humbling to see the standards of World Paradise is just rising and rising, and it's almost scary in it some is. ways. That's, it's, that's incredible. It's I don't I think we we all need to um, try and do as much as we can to get as much exposure mm. for it as well. Now, for any of you that are watching the video but don't know I'm um, too much about it, if you've got any questions drop Matt a message. He's on Twitter. I'll put his uh, tag in the description below. Also, I'm going to add both the websites, uh, the BDDA one and also the Paradise link. So you can go to their websites, check out what's uh, going up. If there's a tournament near you, go along and support them. Um, mm. It's really, really friendly. And I'm sure Matt will buy you a beer. <laughs> no, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, just one question here, Matt. Uh, now, obviously, I'm... I'm in so much need of a holiday, so are you going to put me in the suitcase for Malta or Netherlands? Oh, well, well depends on what I've got to take with me, you know. I'll have to have a look at it. I'll have to assess the situation. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's great. It's, it's, it keeps me busy. It keeps my mind active, and it, it takes me to places that I probably wouldn't think of going. Exactly. It's all so, um, so much is in the mind. It's just if, if, if you've got the right mindset, you can do anything. Mm. I, I'm a great believer of that. Um, but listen, Matt, thank you so much for coming on. I don't know if there's any shout outs you want to give to any of your sponsors to wrap it up. Uh, just the, the usual crew, you know, super darts. I can't I can't fault enough. Got um, phase two out, the gold dart. Um, no different grip, just gold based. Eat. And obviously eagle darts on board, but they're a the fantastic range of points. Um Big Five, again, without them, you know, they're big believers of what I do. And I feel I can't thank them enough. And I guess my brother, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled that he's decided to come along to some of these events because, yeah, it's just, it's just the social environment is unreal. You know, yeah. we'd be at each other's throat on the dartboard, but when we're off the board, we're all out having a meal together. It's great. And obviously just a shout out to everyone in the BDDA and World Paradox. Yeah, definitely. No, no, it's absolutely incredible. Um, you know, I don't know if you want to speak to him. We're more than welcome to put a piece in the magazine. Again, as always, if you've got any news, mm. let's put a whole bit in there about it. Uh, just let us know and get in touch. 
Um, for those of you that haven't got the app, don't forget to download the Darts Planet TV app, as you can see up on the screen there. There's loads of stuff. We have loads of comps, uh, giveaways, latest news from our writers, and lots more. And once again, just a massive thank you to Matt. Wish you all the luck in the world. Keep in touch. Come down for a weekend again soon. We'll have some fun on the dartboard. Go out for a few beers. Um, and just take care, mate. And I really appreciate it. No, no you're very welcome, Jeff. Thank and you again. For everybody that do enjoy the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, leave us a like, share the video. It makes a massive difference. And don't forget to check out all the uh, disability darts. It's incredible. Take care. And me and Matt, we'll catch you next time. Bye.